When you were little, growing up, the world was a marvel. The path in front of you was exciting and your entire life was ahead of you. Do you remember what you dreamt of? You didn't dream of being where you are now, did you? Stuck in a job you can barely tolerate but wouldn't dare to quit? Weighed down with enough debt that even though you're not always thinking about it, it never truly leaves your mind? Thoughts of bills that are due always looming in the background. Too much stress and not enough joy. And that's why you started looking for a way to make some money online in the first place, isn't it? To relieve that stress, to relax a little and enjoy your life. But if you've been trying to make money online for any length of time, you already know a dirty little secret that surprises the tens of thousands of people that come online for the same reasons as you every single month. It's so damn hard. You never wanted an online business. You just wanted the money. And who knew you'd have to learn so much stuff? How to be a drop shipper, a blogger, a talented writer, an SEO and PPC expert, a social media wizard, a product developer, an affiliate marketer, and more. So why are all the internet gurus constantly selling you their so-called systems that teach you to be just those things? Why are they bombarding your inbox with offers day in and day out, promising they will make you rich with these systems? I'll tell you why. Two reasons. The first reason is you really do need to know almost all that stuff if you want to make money online. It's not nearly as easy as all the overnight millionaire stories make it out to be. It's a 50 to 60 hour week at the least. And the second reason they do it is you buying all their stuff finances their lifestyles, their sweet rides, their luxury vacations, their fancy homes, and lots and lots of nights at the clubs. The good news is, is that you don't have to pay for their dreams or finance their exorbitant lifestyles. And you don't have to learn any of that stuff to get what you really wanted. You didn't come online for some time-sucking business. All you wanted is the money. And you can have it. Lots of it. And you can do it from home with just a computer and an internet connection in less than an hour a day with almost no effort. Even if you have zero prior experience, even if you have little or no tech savvy, and you won't have to keep buying all their stuff. You won't have to learn all that new crap because the system I'm about to reveal to you doesn't need any of it. What if, right now, you could write yourself a check for as much money as you need, as much money as you want? Would you write yourself a check for $1,000? Would you write yourself a check for $10,000, perhaps $100,000? Or maybe you'd like to write that check for a million dollars or more. And what would you do with all of this newfound money? Would you pay off some bills? Would you stash some cash in the bank for a rainy day? Would you upgrade your car and your house? Would you take a luxury vacation or two? Or maybe you'd just take a rest for a while and be lazy putting the nine to five daily grind behind you with this money. No matter what it is that you want to do, now you can live the lifestyle that you always dreamed you would. You deserve it. You deserve all of it. So, how do you turn those checks you wrote in your mind into a reality? Well, I'll tell you how I do it, and I'll give you all the details so you can do it too. It's easy, it's fast, and it's proven to work like clockwork, stuffing my accounts full of as much cash as I want every single day. In fact, have a live look at how quickly and easily I can generate an extra $5,100. Here you're seeing an actual live example of just how easy this is. We're in one of my many accounts and I'm going to start the process by pushing one or two buttons and entering an amount before I hit apply. Next, we'd normally wait 60 seconds here, but I'll speed up my recording so you don't have to wait that long to see what happens. However, when you're doing this at home, I think you'll enjoy these 60-second profit sessions very much. Heck, I can't even drink my cup of coffee in 60 seconds. So making money in that time is pretty exciting. Well, there you have it. New money in the account. It's easy. It's fast. And I'll explain everything in more detail in just a moment. That took all of 60 seconds. One minute to an extra 5100 cash in my pocket. Sound like something you'd be interested in? 
possibly adding an extra 5100 to your own bank in just one minute, as many times as you please? Good. Then let me show you how you can do this too. Ever hear of something called binary options? The name makes it sound far more complex and mysterious than it is. It's actually incredibly simple. With binary options, you're placing an investment in a stock like Apple or Facebook, or a commodity like gold or silver, or a currency pair like the US dollar versus the euro. But you're not locking away your hard-earned money for months or years at a time on a wing and a prayer that your investment will grow 1 or 2 percent. Instead, you're actually investing in the idea that the stock, commodity, or currency pair will go up or go down in a period of time of your choosing, such as a day or even as little as 60 seconds. And your return could be 80%, 100%, 200%, even higher in that same amount of time. Imagine doubling your money in minutes over and over and over again. And that, my friend, is a quick look at how binary options work. It's not hard at all. In fact, in a two-week period, I made $7,777.20 with binary options in just one of my accounts. From the comfort of home, working, if you call pushing some buttons working, just an hour or so a day. Have a look at how much I made. And here's another $1,617.90 for just one day. With my proven trading system, anyone, including you, could do this too. And do you think you could do this by becoming what those gurus try to teach you to do? By being a dropshipper, a blogger, a talented writer, an SEO and PPC expert, a social media wizard, a product developer, an affiliate marketer, or one of the other obscure online professions they talk about. Maybe, maybe you could. There are, in fact, about 3% of all the people that try these so-called professions that do actually succeed. The problem is that it usually takes them many months or even years of hard work to get there. If you don't want to wait that long for the chance to maybe get paid, if you don't want to hustle hard for 18 hours a day doing all that work to try to be one of the very small percentage that makes it, then you should forget about all that nonsense and try binary options instead. Hi, my name is Bill Hughes. I know what it's like to struggle. I know what it's like to be at the bottom and try to claw your way out, to aspire to be at the top. I know the pain of juggling money to pay the bills from week to week. And I know how it feels to have absolutely nothing at all but dreams of a better day. I know because while I built my first fortune when I was young, I lost it all. I lost my entire fortune, everything. And I had to start all over again from nothing to build my second fortune, doing exactly what I'm going to show you how to do too with binary options. It's quite a story of rags to riches to rags to riches again. A story I think you should know, so thanks for allowing me to share it with you. It all started back in college. I double majored in psychology and mathematics with a minor in playing cards. Well, that wasn't really a minor, but I grew fond of using my psychology and math skills to win at blackjack at a local casino in my early years. I was the only 20-something kid back then with a wallet crammed full of cash a brand new car and all the food and beer I could dream of. The ladies loved me and the guys all hated me. Life was as good as it gets back then. Young, dumb, and rich. It felt like I was the biggest man on campus, but college could not go on forever. So after I graduated with advanced degrees in psychology and mathematics, I decided to take my card counting and my blackjack winning skills on the road to Vegas. The bright shiny lights, the beautiful women, the warm dry air, the 24-7 cash machines that were the casinos. It was like heaven. Yeah, those were some pretty amazing years, too. I ruled those casinos and withdrew cash from them on demand. A typical day at work for me started at about 10 p.m. with me strolling up to the blackjack tables decked out in unnecessarily expensive clothes. I'd sit down and write out a marker for $15,000 or more to get started. 
I'd grab my only drink of the night, a bourbon and water, and I'd gamble until 8 or 9 in the morning, until I grew too tired to count cards anymore, too tired of winning. Then I'd go cash out my chips, head to the bank, make my daily deposit, and go back to my suite to sleep. To be young and banking many hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, just playing cards? Well, that feeling is indescribable. And after just a couple years, I had amassed quite a bankroll. But I'd also begun to garner a reputation in Vegas. Sure, on the surface, things looked great for me. I had a hot girl on my arm every night. All the elite inner circle in town all knew who I was. They either wanted to be like me or party with me and hope my luck would rub off on them. But unfortunately, the casinos had also begun to know me as well. They knew that I'd win every time. I was a liability to them because I was going to cost them money and lots of it. And soon it became nearly impossible to get in the doors of any of the major casinos, much less win. They'd simply redirect me right back outside as soon as I walked in the doors. I had to start gambling off the main strip away from those casinos that knew me, and farther off the strip still. The table maximums got smaller and smaller as I moved farther away from town until finally there was nothing in it for me anymore. I had literally won myself right out of Vegas. To this day, I'm not allowed in several of the top casinos. They know if I walk in their doors and sit at their tables, I will win. So they don't want me there. And while that gives me a certain level of self-satisfaction, back then satisfaction didn't pay my bills or fatten my bank accounts. The next two years are a bit of a blur. I traveled the world, I partied and partied and partied some more. I guess I played about as hard as a young 20-something globe traveler could. As odd as it may seem, all that time playing, all that time doing nothing of value, well, it got very depressing. I was tired, weary, feeling empty, and I knew I needed something of substance in my life. I needed a ch